Praise the Lord. This is Dr. C. Dexter Wise III with It's Time, A Time for War, Ecclesiastes 3, verse 8. The preacher of Ecclesiastes does not write, there is a time for disagreement, misunderstanding, or a slight difference of opinion. The word says, there is a time for war. That's bucks, bullets, battle, and bloodshed. Not even soldiers want war. But the reason we have them is because we understand that like it or not, there is a time for war. The drumbeat of war is in the air in our nation. The sound of sabers rattling and fighter jets scrambling can already be heard in distant lands. The question therefore arises, is this the time for war? When is a time for war? Well, it's a time for war when there is something worth fighting for. We are wronged on a regular basis, but just because we're cut off in traffic, that doesn't mean it's a time for war. This is why we must learn to pick our battles. Only irreplaceable things, only invaluable things, and only vital things are worth fighting for. Then it's a time to war when diplomacy works no more. The first course of action in attempting to settle a dispute should be discussion and diplomacy. War should be the very last option. God help us if our strategy is to bomb first and ask questions later. However, when talking does not solve the problem and tempers refuse to be tempered, war often erupts. It's also time for war when there is something worth dying for. Fighting is one thing, dying is another. Yet there are times when the only way to save a life of peace is to be willing to risk life in war. Safety, life, food, water, natural resources, energy supply, freedom, equality, self-determination are all a few examples of things that are worth dying for. We enjoy many of these things today simply because Somebody went to war on our behalf and died in our place.